and welcome to my YouTube channel. I am back. I am back and better. It's been a very, very long minute. I haven't posted a video in a long time. Life has been moving. A lot of change has been happening, but I am back and better with a new video, a very new video that I've never recorded before. Like I've never recorded one of these videos before. So I'm so excited to be coming today with a clothing haul from White Fox and Princess Polly. I've always seen their clothes like on Instagram and they look so nice and they look like they're true to size. So I'm really excited to be doing this video because personally, I enjoy watching these kind of videos and they really just give me inspiration. Like I love seeing how people dress and like the different styles. And one thing I believe is that you could get like, you don't have to know somebody to kind of get the feel of what kind of person they are, their personality based off their dressing style, even though that always changes. But I feel like the way you dress kind of represents a part of you. So I am super excited to be coming with this video today. I hope you guys enjoy and just get some inspiration. If you guys have any suggestions or any ideas of like how to pair these outfits, please let me know in the comments down below. I would like to hear that. But let's get right into it. So for reference, this is how the Princess Polly bag came in. And then this was the White Fox. They didn't take too long to arrive, honestly. And I didn't... For White Fox, I did pay for the fast shipping. Because it was going to take a minute. But I opened them because I wanted to make sure everything came in. And I wanted to make sure that the sizing looked right. So I didn't have to do any returns or anything like that before I made this video. So just by looking at the clothes, I will say Princess Polly looks like they aced the sizing like true to size for sure for sure this one they did look a little big i got an extra small or a small and everything the the white box does look a little big for an extra small but i didn't try it on so let's see it together let's see how it looks and i'm super excited so starting off with white box i got two skirts a green and like a dark burnt orange look one and then of course said i'm really excited about these i really feel like this summer i'm in my long skirt era like i think they're the new shorts for me even though i love biker shorts but i feel like this summer we're going in with skirts all summer short long midi all of that so i'm super excited to try these on these did look a little big from the waist, so let's go ahead and try them on and see how we like it. Alright, so here we have it, the corset. Not starting off too strong, so as for the material, it's not bad. It's kind of, um, I would say a little bit bathing suit material, but it's not a big deal. It's an extra small. My only issue is that it doesn't fit that well. Like, it's, it's still pretty big. I can It moves quite a lot. I thought that if I squeezed these, it ends up connecting at the bottom. I can pull it tight, but that's not the case. This is completely separate from these, so it's not working. And if I cinch it like this, these stay, these stay pretty, you know, wide. So, but it's cute. It's really cute. I would just say that it doesn't fit like an extra small to me. And then I wanted to give you guys the most ideas in this video, so I paired it with some whitewash jeans because I feel like it would really give it a... If you want to wear it in the daytime, I feel like this is cute. You could wear it in the nighttime, but I feel like whitewash is cute in the daytime. And then I think if we pair it with black jeans, that would give it more of a night look. So here you have the black jeans. I wouldn't particularly wear these... Oh. <laughs> I wouldn't particularly wear these with all the holes. I mean, it doesn't look bad, but it just, the vibes don't match here. But you get the idea. This is more of like a night look if you pair it with the black. The dark tone with the dark tone really goes, like if you want to go clubbing or anything like that, it goes pretty well. So, here you have it. First fit. This is the next outfit. This is the skirt I ordered from White Fox. Ah! It's so cute. I really do wish it was more like a zipper or just something to really tighten it because it is very loose. I mean, it doesn't move as I walk, <laughs> but it's super cute. The material is really soft, super thin and airy. It is long. That's one thing I will say. Like, see, it's like, it's, it is long. So at, for me, since I am short, I would pair it with some chunky sandals chunky shoes but i love the stripes let me show you i love the stripes on it 
And then to give you guys an idea, I paired it with this other like burnt orange top. I know they don't pair that well. This one's shiny, this one's pretty matte. But I think it's still really cute, you know, pairing them together, a monochrome moment with some white shoes. Really cute daytime outfit. Honestly, I feel like I would wear it at night as well. If you're more into the more dark tones at night, I would pair it with the black shirt. And then also this would look really cute with the white crop as well. If you're trying to go with more of a baggier vibe, let me see how it would look with the baggy shirt. I know, super wrinkly. I'm currently in the moving process, so I wouldn't, I probably wouldn't pair with this shirt in particular either, but I feel like it's cute with the baggy shirt as well. If you want to give it more of a sporty vibe with some dunks, some Air Maxes, or like some... Just sneakers, you know what I mean? Like, it would still go very well with some nice sneakers. And it still looks super cute, airy, very chill and relaxed. So, I really like this vibe. And I really like how all the outfits I pick, you can turn it into day outfits, night outfits. And you could do a lot with this. So, I forgot to mention the name of the top. The name of the corset was Because I Can Bustier, if that's how you say it forest green and then ask for the skirt let me see where the tag is at oh, okay as for the skirt it's look here maxi skirt in rust all right so going in strong this is the second skirt you see how i told you guys i wish the other one had a zipper so this one has a zipper it's still a little big like there's still some space so i wouldn't i wouldn't necessarily recommend to downsize because it's only a little bit of extra space but yeah i just wish it was a little bit more fitted but that's okay um it has a slit here it's super cute. I, I really love it. I got everything with a lot of texture, but I paired it with this shirt for like, it's a very cute like daytime lunch outfit. Dress it up fancy. You could add some like cream colored heels to this and it would look super cute. And unless you want to be like, you want to add some more pop of color bright, you could do like a bright pink, I feel like. If you're going to like, I don't know, a museum or something like that, but... Besides that, this is what it looks like. It's really cute. I like it a lot. Yeah, I I really like it. I do like it a lot. Okay, so this is like a fancier outfit. Now let's do a more chill, maybe beachy vibe. Okay, so here I did another monochrome moment. I just feel like you can't go wrong with monochrome. Like, it's super cute, super chill. I just love how the colors come together. They're not perfect and I, I love that. I love that it's not perfectly matched. But with some nice sandals, you could even pair it with some sneakers if you wanted to, like some basic white sneakers. But I think it's super cute. Honestly, monochrome is the way to go if you don't, like, don't know what to, like, what to wear. I feel like just throw on the same color. The same color and it'll always look cute. Now, last idea for the girls who like to show a little bit more, want to show a little bit more belly. This is a, you could pair with like a very nice crop crop shirt. And it would look really, really cute. And this shirt, actually, you could put it over, you know. And it is super cute, a nice brunch, cute date on the beach. Some nice cute sandals, like I said. If you're short, the skirt is a bit long, not as long as the other one. So I would pair it with some chunkies if you don't want it to drag. But really cute, really cute. I love it. And this skirt is actually called Lasting Legacy Maxi Skirt Matcha. I realize like how messy this gets when you're doing like a, a try on haul or whatever. But we're going to go ahead and start with Princess Polly. Those were the three, three things I got. I'm going to... The quality, I rated a 10 out of 10. The quality is really good. I would just say the sizing did need to be a little bit better. So I'd rate it a 7 out of 10 because it wasn't too off. It was off by a little bit. But honestly, I love it. I love the material. Everything's good. So 10 out of 10, honestly. Just keep in mind with the sizing. But let's go ahead and get into Princess Polly. So for our first outfit from Princess Polly, I got these parachute pants. Super cute and gray. I love it. I'm obsessed with this color gray. This is one look. If, 
Like I said, if you want to show a little bit more belly, if you want to wear them low, I don't really wear them that low. I like them a little bit higher on my waist, but material super thin, airy. You could wear it on a sunny day. It has pockets. The only thing is it does make noise when you're walking, so you do hear it. Guys, here we have the next outfit. I really wanted some trousers, and honestly, look how perfect they fit at the waist. Like, look. That is so shocking and I'm obsessed. I love how it like grips at my waist. It's super cute, super comfy, very lightweight and airy as well. Honestly, trousers are the perfect, like you have to have some trousers because you can wear trousers in the daytime with some sneakers or even some sand sandals. And then if you want to wear them at night, you just throw on maybe like a black blazer, a black leather jacket and I feel like you have a night outfit, you know? Mmm. It might not look that well with the, well, I don't know. In my head, this looks good with the black leather and then the trousers, but I'm not really feeling the leather with the trousers, actually. But just so you get an idea, you know, if you want to make it a night outfit, you could add the black, the black with the gray, and it'll look good. Just keep in mind with the difference in material, how you feel about it. Pero super cute and also you could pair it with a baggy tee like this one and also with some sneakers and it'll look as great so yeah i really was in need of some very cute like beach pants honestly i've never had a pair as you can see they're super super long so i would wear chunky chunky heels chunky um chunky sneakers or something like that with them but they're super cute i probably will get them fixed just a little just because they're really really long but they're very lightweight the only thing i'm gonna say is that the material in the inside is a bit um a little itchy i would say a little itchy but if it's perfect on the waist so it's very nice and airy. I love the back pockets. Honestly, yeah, 10 out of 10. They're super cute. Just the length is the problem. And the inside material, I don't, everyone's different. It doesn't bother me that much. But honestly, I think these are super perfect for a walk on the beach, a date on the beach. Um, and you can wear them at night. I personally would wear them more to like a beach vibe type of thing. Just because they are giving more beach. But... It's a basic color, so you can pair it with whatever you like. Okay, and as for the last pants that I had on, they were the Louis Pants Beige or Louis. Yeah, Louis or Louis Pants Beige. So, yeah. Next outfit that I'm so excited about because I really love, like I said, a monochrome outfit. I love a set, and I don't really have that much sets. Thank God I have a good amount of colors, though, that I can pair with a lot of things. But I officially have a set. I will say this is longer than I thought it would be. And one thing I did question was like how long this was. Like the how long this is. But honestly it's cute. It's it, I think it's just like meant for like a beach vibe of each outfit. Just to go chilling, go on a bike ride, whatever. So I'm not too mad about it. And I really do like a baggy look anyways. Uh, they don't have pockets, um, but if it's well in the waist, obviously you could tighten it if you wanted to. And you could honestly do it closed. You could do a shirt underneath and keep it unbuttoned. Or, I think it's also as nice as if you did one side tucked in. One side tucked in and the other one tucked out. And showing the shorts a little bit. And then you, you would just close it up. You see with the little necklace? Super cute. And with any color sneakers, honestly... That's the good thing about getting like basic colors, one color, because you could pair it with colorful sneakers and it'll look as good. Or you could do some sandals. And if you want to dress it up, you could do some heels with the heels that have the tirita that, you know, strap around your legs, like a cream color or a black. I think that would look really cute. So I don't have any of those, but yeah, that's, I, I really like this outfit. I'd give it a, mm, an 8 out of 10. Just because it is, um, like, the bigness is a little weird. And as for the name, it's the Chloe Short Sleeve Set in Green. And like I said, this is a zero. 
This is what the back of the shorts look like, though. I didn't show you, but that's the back. And, yep. Guys, this one I was beyond excited for. Honestly, it fits perfect. Like I said, Princess Polly so far has been doing it with the sizing, like, on point. Oh. But anyways, look at this. Look at this. It's fitted. It looks perfect. Honestly, I have a hard time finding tops, like, with straps that aren't adjustable. And it fits perfect. I would say it's a little bit. It has a little gap right here, but it'll, a little scoop in it. You know? We're good. We're good. We're hidden. And I feel like it's so cute. You could pair this with a jacket like this if you wanted to. Maybe not this color. I kind of like it. I kind of like the two different colors. But you get the vibe. A, a, like a jacket like this if you want to cover up just a little bit. Or you could show it off, you know. Show it off. It's super cute. I feel like it's giving loungewear. So it's very simple. And yeah, I don't think I would wear this like... Like as a night outfit or anything like that. I think I would wear this more in the daytime alone. With some sneakers or some really cute sandals. And I personally would wear it without a jacket. If I if I want a little a little cover up. If I go inside or indoors then I will. But honestly I really like how airy it is. The material is thick. But it's not like uncomfortable thick. Or like hot thick or anything like that. It's It's honestly perfect. I, I'm obsessed. I They killed it. They killed it on this one. That is exactly why I purchased a lot of mix match things because you could pair this with the trousers if you wanted to or you could pair this with some other shorts or the shorts you could pair with the nice white crop tee and you know you could mix, mix match these or you could wear this under a shirt and use it as like a bralette type of thing. So I'm, I really recommend you start making like spending your money wisely and i feel like i did just that i got a lot of things i could mix match with and things you could wear in nighttime and daytime so points for me i forgot to mention the last set was a sophie set in blue and it's an extra small small the last thing i have what i am super excited about is this dress you guys you know how hard it is being a short person and finding a dress that fits the way it should. Like this dress isn't supposed to be too long. It's supposed to fit up to my cab. So look at it. It fits perfectly. Literally look at the back how beautiful. I put it on myself so I hope that the strings look right. But look at the back how beautiful. Like an open back who doesn't love that it really gives you body it really does when you have an open back and then it closes here it's really giving giving curves <laughs> but look at the dress it's it's phenomenal i i'm absolutely obsessed with it honestly one thing i'm gonna say is that in the picture i thought it was a little bit more shiny like a silky look and in person it's not that silky maybe in the sun but in person it's a little bit more matte it does have like polka dots on it. I like how it is very adjustable, so I am able to adjust the strings, make it tighter, make it looser. As for the bottom, the bottom isn't adjustable, but as you can see, it fits perfect. Like if it's perfect, it's airy enough, it's not too uncomfortable because a lot of, I've noticed that a lot of, when you buy a lot of dresses or skirts that are up to like your calf, a lot of times you have to walk like this. You know what I mean? But in this case, you don't. You can walk and you could still, you know, breathe, like open up your legs and, you know, do a dancey dance. But it's super cute. I would definitely pair these with maybe, since it's a simple color, I would pair it with maybe these Tommy Hill figures. If, is that how you say his last name? I don't know. But I would pair with these. I think it would be super cute or I would pair it with some cream heels. Or if you want to add a pop of color, I would do orange or a yellow. Just because I really think, like, when I do color, I'm going to add, like, a bright color. I wanted to show you guys it paired with just, I know that it's ideal to wear dresses with sandals or heels. But I wanted to show it to you guys with some sneakers and, like, a little cardigan. If you like to cover up a little more, or if it's a little bit chilly or windy, um, 
you could definitely do like a lightweight cardigan you could do it closed or you could do it open and it's just as cute and then i would just pair it with some sneakers and some like socks that show not nike but like some basic white socks i think it would look really cute super super stylish honestly i think it would look really adorable i really love it and then if you want to just bring it along i think you could definitely definitely do like a maybe throw it over your shoulder like this or just or just do it on one side like this but just an idea this is super cute i'm obsessed with it i've never had a dress like this before and i love how they just aced it all the way through everything and it's double material so you don't have to worry about it being see-through or anything like that super comfy super thin honestly this one's like by far my favorite from princess polly everything they've given me has been perfect but i will say this dress this dress it really did its thing and as for the hair with this outfit i would definitely when i wear open outfits open shirts open clothes i really do like to show off my neck area my chest or anything like that so i do like a uh, slick back hairdos since i do have a little bit of like small pieces of hair of like curtain bang type look i do like to pull those out but as for like the rest i would do like a slick back bun maybe do this or if you want to have it all back that works as well it really pulls back your face and shows your neck off and with some really simple jewelry maybe a little tight like necklace not too choker but a simple gold necklace would look really cute with this outfit and this one is called on cloud nine midi dress green and it's a size zero maybe they called it on cloud nine because of the dots I don't know, but 10 out of 10, I love it. I rate all the clothes from Princess Polly. I rate all the clothes, to be honest, 10 out of 10. It was small little things like the green set that was a little kind of mm, off the bigness of it, like the like the line in the, between the pants. It's not a big deal, and then the length of things. But honestly, they aced the length of the dress and other stuff, so I'm not too bad, mad about the trousers or the, the beige pa beach pants. But as for white box material 10 out of 10 the way it looks 10 out of 10 the only thing is yes the sizing isn't too on point like princess polly was but overall honestly 10 10 out of 10 10 out of 10 the sizing wasn't that big of a deal to me so yeah i hope you guys like this video i really enjoyed it honestly i didn't realize like when i watch um clothing hauls they do be like sweating or like it'd be a, looking like a lot and I didn't realize that till now that I'm doing one, I'm like, wow, like I made a mess in the room. I wanted to just give you guys inspiration. I know that when you see certain things, you might not like that certain idea, so you want another idea. So I try to give you guys as much ideas for day and night outfits as much as possible. So I hope it helped. I hope you got inspiration. If you guys like this video, make sure to give it a like. And if you guys want to see other videos like this, let me know in the comments down below. I will be sure to continue to post a little bit more often i don't want to be disappearing on you guys and just different things day in my life and stuff like that but anyways make sure to like comment and subscribe thank you guys for watching bye